What's up, beauties and gents? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, LTZ, back today with another big bang. So today we finally got us some seafood in the his house. You hear me? So that's what we're going to be eating today. I'm going to tell y'all what's in this box in a minute, but I'm hungry. So we're going to get right into the prayer, the thumbnail, and then we're going to dig in. But before we do that, <laughs> relax. Before we do that, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a video and give me a big old thumbs up for this video. All right, y'all. So in this box, we have the, um, it's called the sampler. Like I got it from a local, um, a, a local lady <laughs> that sells seafood bowl, that sells seafood bowls and you know, all that good stuff. So this is supposed to be three large crab legs. This is what I got. We ain't gonna talk about that. Um, eight shrimp, uh, two potatoes, two sausages, and one corn. I threw in my own egg because I had taste for an egg. And for to drink, we have pomegranate cranberry juice, y'all. It's the bomb.com. If you never had it, don't ever say I ain't never put you on, because baby, this is it, okay? <sighs> y'all ready to dig in? Because we're going to dig in. Okay, y'all, so I already tasted the sausage. I couldn't wait until I got home. I was real hungry, and it tasted pretty good. Now, If y'all have seen, I'm going to take this off. Is that okay? Okay, so if y'all have seen my previous, um, whatchamacallit, seafood bowls, I say and tell y'all in those bowls that I don't like the sausages that they use. It just don't taste right. So, oh, girl, these are overcooked. I just don't like everybody's sausages and seafood boils. You can't use every, oh, sh I, I don't like overcooked shrimp. But anyways, um, you just can't use anybody's, uh, ooh, they're not clean either. This is going to be messy. You can't use, I'm sorry, you can't use anybody's, uh, everybody's sausages, right? So there's only certain ones that I like. I don't know what brands they are. Like this one right here, I really, really like it. This is probably one of the best I've had in the seafood bowl in Texas. That was good. <laughs> that that was a little bit delicious, you know. That was that was a little delicious there. Mm. That's Mm, let's just go ahead with this one. Man, that that took me kind of back, you know? Mm -mm. Mm. 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 Girl, she gave me three potatoes. See, I knew that's why. Listen, I'm supposed to have three large crab legs. This is what I got. First off, there's nothing large about this. Um, they're broken. Um, I feel like um, that was misadvertisement. But the potatoes, they really don't have any taste. Um, I wish the stand wasn't moving. It's really not seasoned, but her sauce, her sauce is pretty good. What do I want? That shrimp was kind of fire. <laughs> Your girl was in deep thought. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask her uh, what kind of sausages are. I really like these. Mm. They got a little kick, a little spice, a little 
<clears throat> in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm going to kill that corn. Boy, I'm going to kill it. I can't wait. You watch my seafood, boys. You know, corn is my favorite. My absolute favorite side. We're going to call it a side. So, you know, you got your potatoes, you got your uh, sausages, and you have your corn. In order, is corn, potatoes, sausages. I be turning that corn up. You hear me? All the way up. I mean, her shrimp a little overcooked, like I said, and it's not the vein, but that's okay. Oh, boss, move, doing the video. <laughs> my dog, that's my baby. But um, anyways, hey y'all, happy Monday. It's a new week, you know what I'm saying? What's good in the neighborhood? Let me try to use my left hand. Speaking of lip hand, so let's talk about it. Oh. Mm hmm So apparently, apparently, African cuisines are trending right now in the TikTok and YouTube community, right? So I came across a video, um, I came across a few videos. So, you know, pretty much everybody's trying fufu. And I know I was watching Kozo's um, video And reading her comments, and they were saying, um, okay, my bad. They were saying that uh, she was eating with her the wrong hand. I'm like, the wrong hand? And they're like, yeah, in our culture, we don't eat with our left hand. And I'm like, what? So, of course, I do research. You know what I'm saying? If I see something on, on the internet, and somebody says something and I don't know for a fact, I'm gonna research it and look it up and you know, see for myself. So that's what I did and long behold, I forgot where it was. It's just not in the African culture. It's like, uh, I don't even wanna say cause I don't wanna be wrong and misquote what I read. But um, I know for a fact that they don't eat with their left hand because their left hand is used for other things other than eating, you know. You know, you know. And if you don't know, look it up because I'm not going to say it on the video while I'm eating. People may have some weak stomachs out there. That should tell you enough. I'm like, wow. Okay. Learn something new every day. So then, you know, I get on TikTok last night and I see, you know, this one I was like, okay, so it's trending right now. You know, trying African cuisine and eating foo foo and stuff like that. So there was this video that I came across and this guy was eating foo foo and he was, a, you know, he was from Africa. I'm not sure what part, um, but he was just going off like, you know, this is our culture, like African Americans, you know, well, let me start with this. They were saying people were being disrespectful and this is a basically a cuisine that they we eat out there and we, we eat it every day and this that, and the third and so many people are being disrespectful and you know sad to say but it's actually a majority of african americans and then they wonder why we don't like them i was like wait what <laughs> we i didn't i didn't know that they didn't i i i hey I, I, I don't know if it's just me but i didn't know that you know that that was said once before that they didn't like us, African-Americans. And 
who just like y'all need to stop just leave it alone like don't mess with our culture is what they was what he was basically saying and i'm thinking like so i'm back i'm like so you telling me that i can't i can't try your food you know what i'm saying like I see that you're, you know, I looked at his other videos and I'm like, I see that you live, you live here in, in the U.S. Which means you try American food. <laughs> I'll bet. That's what I was thinking. And then I began to watch more of his videos and what he was talking about. And he was saying that, um, He's not telling people not to try it, but don't be disrespectful. So apparently people have been trying it. And if they don't like it, they talk mess about it. You know what I'm saying? They're talking crap about it. And that's not okay. Or they spin it out and like, what? what is this? Like, this is food? Like, this, that, and the third? And it's like, one, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But don't be disrespectful with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's their culture. You know? That's how they were raised. That's how they grew up. Like, you wouldn't want anybody disrespecting you. And how you were raised. And, you know, just be nice. You know? If you don't like it, just say, well, this is not really my, um, mm, this is really not for me. Like, I heard really good reviews about it. That's the reason why I wanted to try it. But, you know, it's just not something that I would get again. Um, it was maybe the, the maybe it was too spicy or something. The, the spiciness was just too much for me and I couldn't handle it. Or it wasn't enough. Or it just wasn't for me. That's all you have to say. Ooh, I'm sorry for covering my mouth. That's all you have to say. You don't have to be disrespectful with food. That's like if your mama cook food, dinner for you, and you don't like it. What you going to do? Spit it out on the floor and tell her? I know you're not. I know you're not. Especially us. We're not going to do that. One, we're going to get knocked out. Two, she ain't going to cook no more. <laughs> That's going to be it. You hungry? Oh, there's some noodles in there. Oh, there's some cereal in there. It's some hot dogs. Go find some. Go make some. Because I ain't making nothing else for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to do that. So don't do that to somebody's culture, though. Just try something different. It ain't for everybody. Shoot. <laughs> some people don't like chicken. Some people don't like burgers. You going to talk crap about them? I just don't like that. That doesn't sit well with me. But yeah. Ooh, crab leg. Crab legs. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Girl, I ain't had no crab leg in so long. She teased me. I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Look how it came out. And I was just finna talk noise and say I was gonna tell her that she only gave me two broken pieces. But it's okay now. Cause I'm happy. Look at it. Mm. But now I'm still gonna tell her I only got two two broken pieces in here. You know what I'm saying? I paid what I paid for. And if I pay for it, I want all of it. <laughs> Don't short me, baby. Don't short me, baby. Y'all, seafood makes me happy. Real happy. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to need a chair. Yeah, I need to get a chair. Because this little baby chair that I got, my I use my, uh, my vanity mirror uh, chair for now. <laughs> Pouring this out. <gasps>
Ooh, excuse me. The fact that I forgot this corn was over here. <clears throat> Do right by me, okay? Okay, be good, all right? Because I'm ready. <clears throat> let me... Oh, let me clear my mouth for the juices that I'm about to partake in. You ready? <laughs> So, uh, what y'all do today? <laughs> How was y'all weekend? Let's talk about that. What did y'all do? Comment down below and let me know what y'all did. I'm going to tell y'all about my weekend. So, on Friday... What did I do? On Friday, what was Friday? I was supposed to go out of town. I was supposed to be gone. I was not supposed to be here today, y'all. I was supposed to be in Denver. Uh, No, I would be coming back. What time is it? It's 4.20. My flight was at... No, I would have been back. I would have been back by now. But I was supposed to go to Denver with a friend and that friend basically played me yeah yeah and if you watching this yes i'm talking about you you definitely played me but it's all good in the neighborhood whatever but so i didn't do i did my childhood best friend had hit me up and was like no i hit her up Bruh, I'm sorry. So I hit my childhood best friend up <clears throat> and was like, um, what you doing tonight? You know what I'm saying? Childhood best friend. Hey, hey, baby girl got five kids, okay? From the ages of 14 to Jackson just turned. How old Jackson just turned, girl? Uh, four? He just had his fourth birthday two weeks ago. So you know what I'm saying? Like I be I I I know she needs those nights out, okay, away from them children, right? So I hit her up more. Yo, let's go eat. You know what I'm saying? Let's hang out. Let's get drinks. Like she was like, bet. Where at what time? I said, shh, shh. you know what? Give me a second. I'll let you know in a minute. Y'all yeah, went straight to TikTok. I put in Dallas happy hours and, you know, looked to see what was going to pop up. So this little sushi joint popped up um, over there on Oakland, right? I'm talking like y'all from Dallas and know where, where that's it. But if y'all are and you do, you know. And it was a little sushi joint or whatever. And, you know, I sent it to her. And I sent her like two other places. And she was like, ooh, sushi. I said that. And she was like, what time? You know, Friday, I got off at what, 3, 3 o'clock? I said, well, happy hour is 4 to 7, so let's go at 5. She said, bet. So, of course, we were late. I think we got there at 6. Black people, huh? But we had a bomb. We had so much fun, y'all. It was so much fun. It was just laughter. I can't even say what we was laughing at, but it was one joke, one funny moment that had me in tears. And I don't even know what happened. <laughs> in tears, okay? And then we were at the sushi bar, right? And you know, sushi, you think, you know, Japanese, Korean, you know, Chinese, you know. So at the end of the meal, She's, you know, we're, we're a little tipsy at this point. 
and she starts talking to the guy that's in front of us on our side making the sushi. You know, it's a it's a wall. It's a uh, what that thing called? They got it blocked off COVID purposes. They got it blocked off. So she starts talking to him in Spanish, and I was like, "Yo, what are you doing?" <laughs> she was like, "He speaks Spanish." I was like, "How do you know that?" And she was like, "Uh, she asked him in Spanish, does he speak Spanish?" And he was like, "Yeah." I said, "Oh." <laughs> She was like, see? And they literally exchange about two sentences. And uh, she just told him her name. She was like, my name is such and such. What's yours? And he said it. She said something else. He said something back. And she said, thank you. It's been a long time since I practiced uh, my Espanol. So I didn't really know what that second sentence was. It wasn't for me to know anyways because they wasn't talking to me. Minding my business all 2021, okay? <laughs> but, yeah. It just threw me off. Because she did it so quick. Like, she just knew him. And like, she already knew his name. Like, she just been there before. No, first time and all. So, that was Friday. And then Saturday. Mm, yeah, Saturday. I know that... I don't know what I did that morning. Oh, I hung out my mom. It was mom and daughter day that day. I had um text her um to see what she was doing and stuff and see if she wanted to go get her nails done because I was gonna pay for us to get some pedicures. And she was like, okay, fine. So we got dressed for that. Girl made it all the way to the nail shop and that movie was packed. We made it there at like 2 30. And it just didn't dawn on me that it'll be packed because it's like COVID. People really ain't gonna be getting out or want to go to a nail shop. I mean, I'm gonna go, but a lot of people don't want to go. So that's what I just thought. I was wrong. It was packed. My mama walked in, and you know, talking to me on the side in my ear or whatever, and was like, "Well, we can come back another day." And I turned. I was like, oh, "You don't want to wait?" She said, "No." I said, "Okay." So we left out, and she was just like, "We can come back another day." And, uh, but let's go to this hair store right here. This is a new hair store by, by the crib. So I said, bet, we can go in that mud. I've been wanting to go in there anyways, y'all. When I went in there, I was in heaven. If you want to see it, make sure you go watch my video, um, on my other channel. It is T underscore N underscore beauty. It will be in the description box down below. Check me out. It was a whole bloggy vlog. And I'm going to tell you about the rest of the day. So we went into there, whatever, in heaven. I can't tell you how long we stayed in there, but it was a good hot minute, okay? So, we had purchased our little thing. thing. She had got some um, faux locks. I had got me a new wig. Got us some little, um, a little, um, little something here and there. And then when we was leaving out, she was like, you want to go to, want to go to Gold's? I said, Gold's? We just, we, we, we just left the, the hearse though. Okay, come on, come on. We can go. It's show. Let's go. Get to hang out with my mom. I don't care what we do. So, we went to the other hair store. We went in there long. She was looking to see if they had, um, the photo box that she got at the other one because they had ran out. They only had, like, one pack. They only had one pack of each color that she wanted, right? So, we went over there to see if they had something. They didn't have none. But, we stayed in there for a little 10 minutes. And, um, then we went home. And it was nice out that day, so I was like, my nephew likes to be outside, so I wanted to take him outside. So, I was like, come on, Eli. You know, I started whispering in his ear. He's so cute, y'all. I love my baby. <laughs> but I was like, come on, Eli. Let's go, uh, go put your shoes on and stuff. I'm gonna kidnap you. Yeah, that's what I said. And he just starts laughing. So we start playing whisper for like five minutes. I'm just whispering in his ear and he's just cracking up. Okay. So then I'm like, all right, <laughs> you being goofy now. Let's go. So uh, I had took him in the room with his mama and I was like, yeah, I'm going to kidnap your son. And she was like, what are you going to do? Go outside? I said, like, yeah. She was like, oh. So got him dressed and stuff. I said, grab your bike. Grab the bike. We went outside and we were just going. Back, 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 back. And then at a point in time, his wheel, his basket wheel stopped working. Or it wasn't going one. It wasn't rolling like it should. So 
he uh eventually got off that mug and just started pushing it like he just started dragging it and he was just going up and down i was like fine tire yourself out do what you want to do i don't care girls came outside they hung out with me for a little bit with eli we was outside chilling you know what i'm saying family fun day those are my babies and then that was it um i was supposed to go out that night didn't happen i fell asleep i fell asleep at like nine sunday rolled around we had uh no snow over here but kind of snow <laughs> in the same sense i had a game which we lost by like five against the champions that uh won last season uh, yeah last season uh girl played terrible i didn't play terrible but in my opinion i played terrible everybody's like no you did so good like bro you this you that you cold nah, i played terrible I, I was out there looking like a scrub you hear me like i know my potential and that wasn't it but uh other than that that was it y'all i had a nice weekend family friends basketball the saints won last night they played terrible but excuse me we still won so i'm good coming into the week real mellow you know but um yeah that's about it y'all uh comment down below if you made it to the end of this video with a lime green heart emoji and don't forget to let me know what y'all did this weekend i want to know uh but before you go before you go and i go make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so Turn your post notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a video. And give me a big old thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, don't give me a thumbs down. Just move on to the next video. I will see y'all in tomorrow's video, probably with another seafood boil. But I'm out. Peace.